Hello and welcome to the ZX Spectrum Vega. I'm pleased to be able to interview Sir Clive Sinclair to ask him some questions about the original Spectrum. Sir Clive, what was your inspiration for developing the Spectrum? Well, the Spectrum was the third of, a, of, of, the, of the ZX series. It started with the ZX80 and then the 81 and then the Spectrum, ZX Spectrum, which of course was the first colour machine. And the, and the the whole concept behind these was to uh, produce a, a computer that could be used in the home, but, but at a very much more affordable price than anything that existed at the time. What do you think made the original Spectrum so popular? Well, um, it was, I mean, it was a hell, hell of a good price, but it was also a very adaptable machine and very approachable. It was very easy to program and um, very simple to use. How important do you think the price was for the original Spectrum? I think the whole ZX series, the pricing was what made it all happen. I mean, when we first launched um, the, the, the first ZX machine, ZX80, we were at £100, and then we were £79, ZX81, then 125 for the, the Spectrum. Uh, and this was at a time when the, the cheapest competitors were £400 plus, and so this made a dramatic difference to the the sales. Which of these Spectrum computers was your favourite model? Well, I have a per personal favourite in the, in the ZX81, funnily enough, because it only had four chips in it, and I think that was a, you know, it was a very exciting achievement when they, the best machine anyone else, the best in anyone else had done was 47 chips. <laughs> TRS-80. Until recently, clones of the Spectrum were still being made in Eastern Europe. Are you surprised that people are so interested in the Spectrum, even today? Yeah, well, Russia was, until recently, I don't know what the situation in Russia now is, but it was the biggest computer used in Russia until very recently. So many of today's programmers learned to program on the Spectrum and started their careers programming the Spectrum. Do you feel that today we've lost some of these programming skills? Well, I, I do, I very much so. There, there, the, the, you know, the, there are being some very good uh, approaches recently to, to counteract that. Um, it was so much easier in those early days to, to become a programmer. Um, as you said, many, many people learned their programming skills on, on, on the spectrum. Um, so it, 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 ha it, hasn't, it has become harder until recently when you know, there are these, a lot of attempts to solve that problem. 